Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, ToyCarCollector.com, here to show you a fabulous Matchbox collection that somebody just ordered for me today. A very large order, it's taken me about five hours to get it all together and make this video, but this is like a preview video for the buyer, and also I'm sharing it with you so you can check it out and see some of the fabulous Matchbox cars that I have in stock right now. Well, actually, most of these kind of, may, maybe they're sold out, but check check in with me and see what kind of Matchbox I have, because i got a lot of fantastic ones. And um, just give me a call here at uh, toycarcollector.com, 503-956-3708. All right, now, on to the video. <laughs> All right, right out of the gate here, we've got the number 1E, the number 1E Mercedes lorry or Mercedes truck, as we say in the U.S., and here she is, the number 1. She's from about 1968. She's got the orange canopy on top, the turquoise paint job. She's mint in the original box and quite beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is an awesome piece. The second one in the order is the number three Bedford Tipper from 1961. Now, they did make this one from 1961 up till about 1967, I believe. Comes in the gray with the red bed. It also comes in the gray with the maroon bed. This is a very, very attractive model. Look at that thing. That is gorgeous. Here's the original box. Now, this is the arch box with the series at the end. This is the D box. Now, uh, Matchbox made a variety of boxes. This is the D. And this is the E, which came next. And then let's see if we have an example of the F. Yes, here is the F box. D, E, and F in the series. This is the last box they made before they went to the super fast model. And then prior to this D box, there were three variations in boxes. And that would be the A, B, and C. The A box is the script. The B box is the Moco Lesney. Uh, the A box, the word Moco is in a script writing. They only made seven different models with that box. Then they came out with this B box. And then after the B box came the C box, which looks just like this, except it says less, um, what does it say? A Lesney something or other. Do I have one of those here handy? Let's see. No, I do not. Well, let's look for one. All right. All right. Here is the C box. It says A Lesney as opposed to the Moco Lesney. So there they are, the B box, the A being a script, the B being the Moco, the C box, the Lesney, the D box, Matchbox series in an arch, the E box, Matchbox in the arch without the, with the series underneath, and the F box, which is this straight line Matchbox with the blue number in the square. Fantastic. All right, next up is the number five, the Visco Static on the London bus. Here's the box for the London bus. Typically, most of the boxes for the London bus say Long Life. Now, the Long Life is a different model. Uh, it comes with the two stickers, either the Long Life or the Visco Static, but the boxes typically always have this on it. And there, this is a very popular model. It's got that white interior in there. Two levels of interior. There's a lot of work went into the number five, the London bus. Next up on the order today, the number seven refuse truck from 1966. This was always one of my favorites as a child. Look at that action right there. Yeah, that's dump out the garbage action. That's beautiful. That is neat. Look at all those pieces on there. They got the base. They got the wheels. They got the body. They got two pieces on the back. That's amazing how much work went into this number seven. And here is the box. And it is an F box. Beautiful, beautiful shape. And that is the number seven refuse truck. Here's one of the very popular cars, the Mustang Fastback. The Mustang Fastback is extremely hard to get without at least some chips on it. Even the ones I've taken out of an original box that have never been touched do have some chips on it. Now, this is a very nice one anyway. It does show a little bit of wear to it. Box has got a little bit of a bump on the back. Overall, very nice for the price. And uh, a minty one of these would be more in the $80 to $100 range because they are just so scarce. I probably see half a dozen in this condition for everyone that comes even anywhere close to being in mint condition. And the ones that I have in mint condition, I took out of a multi-pack set where they had been sealed 
until I opened them. So this is a really, it's a great model. Too bad it doesn't come in a multitude of colors. It would be neat to see this model painted up in a variety of colors. Next up, the number nine Bowden trailer in the F box. Number nine Bowden trailer. This is a very popular model because if you're gonna play with Matchbox, hey, why not tow something around uh, with the hitch on the back of some of the cars do have a hitch. For instance, let's see, the Ford Corsair has a hitch on it. You can just connect her right up there and away you go to play. And it's got a little thing that holds it so it wouldn't fall off too easily. And there you go. Now you can drive your boat. Actually, this one does have a boat. While we're at it, let's talk about the boat that goes on top of the model. 45 Corsair in an F box. And that boat is still in the box. Hello, where are you? Here's the boat that comes with it. This one's still on its original little holder. The, I think they call these a sprue or a spruce or something like that. And that's where this boat still is. So you can have this boat on top of here and you can tow the boat at the same time. How fantastic. Next one up is the number 11 Jumbo Crane. This one is very cool. You can put the crane up and down. You've got the hydraulics there. You can turn it back and forth. Let's see if this one's pretty tight though. Don't know if I want to turn it back and forth. I'll just leave it as it is, but it does show in the picture with the crane coming out the front. Let's go ahead and leave that on the back. Put that down. Maybe I should turn it just to make sure it will turn. Let's see. Better I break it than the next guy, huh? That's tight. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Look at that. That's what it looks like with the crane on the front right there. Very, very nice. Pretty cool model. Now, this one does come with a red boom or red weight box here, or also it comes with a yellow. That is one of the variations. And this is a really, really neat model. It goes right in the little box there. I remember getting these as a kid, and there it is in your box. Number 12, Safari Land Rover. This is a very popular model. It comes in the blue, also comes in a green color. Uh oh, looks like this one has an issue. The base is should be up inside there. Let's see, can we click it back in? Is it bent? What is it? Looks like this body's bent. So we're gonna go have to go back and look for another one. And I have more, so I'll be right back. All right, here we are back again, Land Rover. In its with the base in it uh, properly like it's supposed to be and there we go brand new in the box now a lot of these matchbox I got from a, a auction outside of Pennsylvania years ago where the fellow had dozens of each one mint in the original box and even if they've never been touched they tend to have some wrinkling from stacking and storing but these are very very nice top quality matchbox in boxes Here's another beauty in an earlier box. The Matchbox number 15 refuse trucks. Look at that. Refuse truck. Look at that. It's got the hole in the back so you can, what, toss in the garbage? I'm not sure about that. Seems like it might fall out of there. There is a rare model that doesn't have a hole here. You see those occasionally. I don't think I've ever had one. And uh, it, this one, of course, is mint in the original box. This particular box is so fresh. It looks like it was made yesterday. However, it was not made yesterday. Although yesterday there is a guy in Australia that makes boxes, but I do not have any of those. Nothing in my stock is reproduction, repaired, or in any way altered. All original, new, and mint in box. Number 16, the Hoovering Ham or Hovering Ham. I guess it's Hoovering Ham Tipper. It's always been one of my favorites. Sad to say that I've only got one in box at this point left. One of the things about the Hoovering Ham is that this, a lot of times, I've got four or five loose ones, and this piece is usually uh, not straight. This one is nice and straight, and it is a beauty. It does have a little nick on it here. It looks like it has a little nick on it here. But otherwise, it is quite, quite nice. Still, that's just factory uh, done because these are not used in any way. These are in their original box and have not been handled by children. These are beautiful. Look at this one. This is a quite a rare box as well with the little round circle on the front that you do not find that often. And this is an early box from the series that's a D box. And typically, these are only in E boxes. So this is a very, very nice find. 
Here's the 18 Caterpillar tractor. One of the sad thing about Caterpillar tractors is that they do have treads on them which dry out. This particular one does have dry treads. It's cracked in the front here, but the treads are still there. You can get replacement treads, but I'm not sure how you would ever get them onto the tractor since this has to go around without this coming off. So it's quite a problem for this model. Now there was years ago a fellow who sold treads and had some instructions on how to join the treads together. But this one does still have the original treads, however dry. And then of course the mint box, which again with this particular model is very hard to find because typically when kids got this model, they took it right outside to push dirt around. And that is why this particular model is very scarce in this kind of condition with a box. This is my last one that I have in this such a beautiful, beautiful box. Let's see. And that it, here it goes right there. Here's the number 24 Rolls Royce, another favorite of mine. Of course, every Matchbox is a favorite of mine. Don't think there's one I don't like. This one is really nice. It's in a satin red finish. This car does come in a variety of finishes. All the same color, but just a little bit differently done on different days. And this one is very pretty with the satin red finish. Very nice glow to it. It's got the trunk that opens on the back. Got the windows inside, the beautiful Rolls Royce grill, and this one in the F box. Very, very nice. Put that right back in the F box. Beautiful. Here's the BP petrol tanker. This is a really great model. Now, they did make two uh, fuel tankers. One of them has a fixed cab, this, which is a number 32, but this number 25 has a cab that tips over. And if you had Matchbox as a kid, you probably remember having this one because that was like the coolest thing. And look at that. The seat also tips over so you can see the motor there. This is a really neat model. Look at that. Yeah, I remember getting this one as a kid. This is a good one. Look at that. The BP Tanker number 25 in the original box. Look at that. Go back in your box. Sad part about Matchbox, and even when I was a kid, I did take my cars out of the box to put them in the 72 car case, and then I folded the box down flat, and sometime after that they disappeared. So it's very hard to get them all in the original box. There it is. So beautiful. Cement mixer number 26. I've got a bunch of these for some reason. I've always really liked this one. This is with the black wheels. It also comes with a gray wheel model. The cement mixer, very, it's a little smaller than the later models, but it's a little bigger than the first original issue models, which are really tiny. So they kind of, Matchbox kind of went through a period where they had started out tiny, they went to medium, and then they end up eventually very large for a small car. Here she is in the original box. We'll slide her back in, make her ready to go. Look at that. The 26 cement mixer. That is a neat model. If you want to talk popular, you got to look at the number 32 Jaguar. Here's a car that we probably couldn't find when we were a kid. But man, do people love this one now. I was fortunate enough to get a dozen of these about five years ago and have been slowly letting them go one at a time. They are just so beautiful and everybody really wants one. This is definitely a top 10 matchbox model. Now here's a blast from a little older past, the green Volkswagen camper. Look at this thing. This is so popular. You can hardly ever find these and collections just never come with them. This is such a neat model. Doors open. Look at that. Now sometimes they get a little, there's only a little teeny tiny tab there to keep the door from falling in. Sometimes this bottom will come loose, so it'll go like that. So you just gotta push it, let it back out, and it's all good to go again. Look at that, isn't that cool? Volkswagen is painted in silver. Yeah, that is neat. That is neat, neat, neat. Yeah, I just realized my light wasn't pointing down here. That's better. Better light. There it is, the number 34. B. Volkswagen Camper. Here's a neat one. The 41 Ford GT40. Ooh, here's the box too. Wait a minute. That's not even the right one. Get out of there. 41 Ford GT. There we go. There she is. 41 Ford GT. Look at that baby. That is a beauty. That is a beautiful car. Ooh, my goodness. 
was one of my favorites as a child. I keep saying that. Look at that. This has got the box with a circle on the side. That's a good one. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. The 44 refrigerator truck. How cool is that? Look at that. Got a little door that opens on the back. Hmm, I don't see any refrigeration in there. That's where you keep all your cold stuff. There's the uh, the cold maker up there. Nice, beautiful mint condition. And with the original box, they should have made the box more interesting, really. I don't know why that's so boring. If they would have put this picture on the front, that would have been just fine. But that is the refrigerator truck, 44. 59, the Ford Galaxy Fire Chief. The 59 Galaxy Fire Chief and the 55 Police Cruiser are really, really extremely popular. Look at this beauty. Wow. Take it all in. That thing is gorgeous. Look at that Galaxy front end. Wow. Look at that shiny base. It is a beauty. And there it is in the F box. Now, one of the things that does happen with the boxes for the ones with the knob on top is that they will break through slightly on one side. This one's actually in pretty good shape because the thing goes in there and then when you stack the boxes together, it's going to push on there a little bit, but you always get at least one beautiful side on the Matchbox 59 Fire Chief Cruiser. The 61 Alba Stalwart with the six Stalwart, yeah, with the six tires. Got a bunch of tags on there. This one, to find the box, seems to be very difficult because for some reason, I've got like a dozen of these with no boxes in various conditions. This is like my only one with a box right now. I don't know why I have so many, but this thing is really cool. I think sometimes all the tires fall off, and then I just put them aside waiting to put the tires back on and put the tops back on, and this is really cool. It comes off. Looks way better with it on. Anyway, so don't have many in box. This is, I think I have one more in a slightly damaged box, but this one, mint in box, is my last one, and she is gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say. 61. All the stalwart. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. 90. Next one up, the Fomite Rescue. Look at that. Airport Rescue Fire Crash Tender. Now, this one has things that go on it. And in some cases, they're still not on it after all these years. These pinch on here. One on that side, one on the other side. You got the pipes go on top. You got the ladder that goes on top. Look at all of this detail. It's a ton of detail on the back of this thing. And the top with the gold. Beautiful. It has so much detailing in this. Could you imagine? Wow. You know, and they did all this assembly by hand, I believe. It's a lot of, when you see the Matchbox videos on YouTube of the construction of these things, there was a lot of people in that factory working on these. They really produced a beautiful product. Too bad Hot Wheels had to come along and kind of kill the whole deal. There she is, 63, from way back when, the Fomart, <laughs> Fomite Airport crash tender. All right, next up is our number 75, the Ferrari Berlinetta. Got a very nice Ferrari Berlinetta here. Green, very dark green. Now, some of those, uh, some of these Ferrari Berlinettas also come in this lighter green. For example, here's one from my collection, but the darker green has always been most popular for this model. It also comes in a model that has the disc wheels as opposed to the wire wheels, but the wire wheels have always been the most popular for this model. And there she is. Got a nice box to go with it right there. Got a little rub on the on the box end there, but very nice on the front. Displays very well. 75 Matchbox Berlinetta. Here's a neat older model, the 72 tractor check that out the 72 tractor what year is that one from that one is i think from 1961 it is a beauty look at that the fordson tractor with the big black tires on the back little black tires on the front look at that there was no trailer to go with this model unfortunately it was just by itself it also came with the gray wheels in another variation that is one really fantastic model here's another hard to find model the 71 Jeep pickup. Look at that. This guy's got the doors that open. Let's check the doors. One, two. Yep, beautiful. And this one comes with the box. Looks like it could use to be a little ironed. 
used to be, that's not even a word, it looks like it could use a little ironing. Because you can flatten these boxes out and iron them, and that will help get the shape back whenever you've got a wrinkle like that. Look at that, beautiful. 71 Jeep pickup. All right, let's gather them all up. 71 Jeep, 72 Fordson, 75 Ferrari, 61 Unimog, 44 Refrigerator Truck, 59 Fire Chief Cruiser, 41 Ford F, Ford GT40, 18 Caterpillar, 63 Fomite, 45 Cor Ford Corsair and Boat, 32 Jaguar, 9 Boat and Trailer, uh oh, a little low there. Come back out there. Okay, there we go. 26 Cement Mixer. 25 BP Taker. 24 Rolls Royce. 17 Hooveringham. 11 Crane. 12 Safari Land Rover. 3 The Dump Truck. The Bedford. Number 1 The Mercedes Lorry. Number 5 the Double Decker London Bus, number seven, the Refuse Truck, number 15, also a Refuse Truck, and number eight, the Ford Mustang, and the Volkswagen Camper. I think that is everything from this list. Now, there are a couple of other options. Let's back up here slightly, adjust the camera. I'm looking down the list. The only thing else I had that uh, was not on the list, I do have a loose oh no <laughs> a loose scammel and that one is what is that that's 49 and i have a mint with box scammel for 99 if you are interested in either one of those two now the ones that i did not have i do not have in the box right now any snow track tractors i do have a loose snow track tractor for 29 this has the uh, original treads, which are hardened. Let's see, I think. No, that one's kind of rubbery. Uh, actually, they're kind of rubbery. Kind of rubbery. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, so there it is. With the originals, they also have, if, when they're ultra white, you can see that some people have the reproductions and they are ultra white on the bottom. And that is all for what's available. Thank you. And who that was a lot of work. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.